Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's walking tour passes through some religious treasures, Piazza del Popolo and much more. The walk took place in September 2023. We started by seeing the Basilica Santa Maria Maggiore. This church is one of the pilgrimage points in Rome. The current building still preserves the original design from the 5th century AD. It contains mosaics from the beginning of Christianity, as well as works of art by various artists. Under the main altar of the Basilica is the Crypt of the Nativity. We will be able to observe the statue of Pius IX in prayer, and the reliquary with wood from the manger where Jesus was born. This basilica has this beautiful Sistine Chapel in honor of Pope Sixtus V. And should not be confused with the much more famous Sistine Chapel of the Vatican Apostolic Palace in honor of Pope Sixtus IV. The Holy Door will be reopened on the occasion of the Holy Year 2025. Entrance, like all other churches in Rome, is free. We crossed the historic center and went to Villa Borghese, one of the largest urban parks in Europe. The state acquired the gardens from the Borghese family in 1901 and opened them to the public in 1903. What sets Villa Borghese apart from other large parks, such as Hyde Park or Central Park, is the perfect combination of nature and art. I really enjoyed this relaxing walk in the middle of nature. In these gardens it is possible to see buildings, sculptures, monuments, and fountains by famous artists from different eras. Monument to King Umberto I. Temple of Diana. The Panciano Obelisk, 2nd century Egyptian obelisk. At the top of the Villa Borghese Park we are surprised by the panoramic view of Piazza del Popolo with the Flaminio Obelisk in the center. The wide and pleasant Piazza del Popolo. In this square we have the twin churches of Santa Maria in Montezanto and Santa Maria dei Miracoli. The Fontana della di de Roma fountain where the goddess Roma is represented, with the she-wolf that suckles Romulus and Remus at her feet.
In the center stands the Flaminio obelisk, one of the eight original Egyptian obelisks, brought to Rome after it took control of the territory of Egypt. The Fontana del Natuno Fountain is located on the west side of Piazza del Popolo and represents the god Neptune flanked by two tritons. Let's now go to Via del Corso Street. And we arrived at the beautiful St. James Church in Augusta. The church was built in 1339 by Cardinal Giovanni Colonna, but in 1515 it was in a state of abandonment and it was only in 1592 that it began to be rebuilt, now in an oval shape, under the guidance of Francesco du Volterra. We continue along via Del Corso Street. The Basilica of St. Ambrose and St. Charles, one of the most beautiful basilicas in the world. As soon as I entered I was completely surrendered to its beauty. Furthermore, it is very well maintained. Let's walk through other charming streets in the historic center starting with Via de Pietra. Now we cross Via de Pastrini which has welcoming restaurants. And here is a wonderful and famous street, Via del Governador Vecchio. A street full of ancient buildings and representative palaces that offer a pleasant immersion. In the medieval, renaissance and papal history of the eternal city of Rome. My beautiful girlfriend. Beautiful street to walk, with lots of restaurants, cafes, ice cream shops, many other shopping stores and, of course, lots of people. We discovered the two sizes store on this street where they simply sell the best tiramisu in Rome completely unmissable. Any visit to Rome deserves a visit to this space. Order it, 
taste it and fall in love with this tiramisu. Small ones at 2.5 euros, larger ones at 3.5 euros. A beautiful performance in Piazza Navona. Another excellent performance, now in Piazza del Popolo. See, listen and enjoy. Let be a memory of my dreams A song that's on the sea The rhythm of my life is she I loved it. Always she
If you like the video, put a like and subscribe. It's very important to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching and for joining me in witnessing this beautiful performance.